Good morning, friends. I am headed out for a Costco haul today. I've been going about once a month recently, and this will be my monthly grocery haul. It's gonna be a little bit different of a grocery haul than normal because I have two unique things um, that are beyond our normal grocery stock up. First is we're going on a beach trip. Uh, in a couple of weeks, and so there's a few things from Costco that I want to be able to take with us. So we're going to a beach house, and it's a full kitchen, and we do most of our cooking at the house. So I'm gonna be bringing food, we're gonna be doing a grocery shopping trip when we're there for some other things. There are a lot of people to feed, and it ends up being a lot of food. So I'm gonna get some of it at Costco that we'll bring along with us. I already picked up some from Trader Joe's of like special things that I wanted that Trader Joe's only carries. And then we'll be picking up some while we're there because there's a Fred Meyer that's not too terribly far away. So I'll do like a grocery trip the first day that we're there. And that should carry us through the like six days that we're gonna be there. So in this haul, you'll see me buying things that I don't normally buy since I do a lot of the cooking and it's a vacation and I want it to be a vacation for me as well. I tend to buy a little bit more convenience foods for this trip. I also buy treat foods, things that uh, we don't eat normally any other time. Then also while I'm at Costco today, I'm gonna be picking up some pantry staples. I was talking to my husband and we decided that just with the way things are going in the world and shortages on everything constantly, that it'd be wise just to stock our pantry a little bit more with some canned food and dry goods and just things that would hold us through just in case there were more serious shortages. We're not really preppers by any means. Uh, we just try to be smart and and wise and make good choices and we decided that be a good choice just to have a little bit extra shelf stable food for if we need it. Come here and look at these Renee. These these are like the little containers we have at home but these ones are Disney. These ones are um, Star Wars and look at these Hello Kitty ones. Aren't those cute? They're so cute. I'm not gonna get any because I don't need any but they are cute aren't they? Yeah. Oh, these are these uh, meal prep containers I was telling you guys about in my um, favorites video. I've been using these a lot, and they're really nice. They're not on sale right now. Maybe if they go on sale, I'll pick up another box, but they are very nice. this before. Kirkland has their own grass-fed butter from New Zealand. Alright, so that this one is $4.99 a pound and the carry gold is $5.99 a pound, so it's a little bit cheaper. I'm going to try it. We're going to splurge on butter today. I'm going to get this for at home and then I'm going to get this for at the beach house. Look at that. Cottage cheese cups. How cool is that? And they're not that much more expensive per ounce than the tub of cottage cheese, so that's not bad. Yeah. Mac and cheese is on sale. That'll be perfect for the beach, right? Yeah. I want to make some when we get home. Mm, at the beach. Oh. Oh, the shells? Yeah, those are good. Yeah, and the shells are good for the beach because the shells are at the beach. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Beach shells. All right, yellowfin tuna and olive oil. Let's see, is that cheaper? Oh, yeah, that's way cheaper. You know. Let's put these ones back. Oh. Hmm. I've got a couple of those. Oh. Yep, the chip aisle is next. Here, look at these. These are seaweed chips. It looks like they must have rice in them. Rice, seaweed. They look a little weird, but if you promise oops, if you promise that you'll eat them, I will get you some. Oh, these are different. What are, oh, these are organic? These are not organic. Okay. Hmm. 
That's the special chip you want to pick? Yes. Okay. Let's get some plantain chips too. Oh, Renee, there is a barbecue and it's organic, so I'll go ahead and do that one. That'll be all the chips we need for the trip. Yeah, I can make that ginormous bag. Yeah. Ginormous. Mm -hmm. um, you want to grab a thing of honey right there? Your favorite? Got it? This one's like more seafood. Oh, you think so? Okay, now we need to go over and look at like dried fruit and see if they have those meat sticks that are so yummy and trail mix and just get some fun, easy snacks like nuts and dried fruit and stuff like that, okay? Yeah. Being on pickles. These have good ingredients. I was hoping to see the chomp sticks here again, but I don't see them yet. But these would be really good. Oh, Dried mango. You want to put that in? This is a real splurge. I haven't gotten these in so long. Oh, you would like these ones. The honey roasted macadamia nuts. Alright, girl. I think we did some serious damage today, don't you think? Yeah. Serious damage. We got like a pile. We got a pile. That is for sure. Got some stuff over here. And the rest over here, I'll start with the non-food items. Poe is very excited. Whenever I start talking, he thinks someone must be here or something. So he's excited for you guys to be here. Um, I got toilet paper, of course. Triple A batteries. Okay, I got these shoes and I decided to try them on and they actually were super, super comfortable. So I grabbed a pair of these for myself and then I also got a pair um, in the size down for Autumn. She needed some black shoes for work and I thought they were so comfortable that they'd be perfect for her for work. Uh, so she's gonna try those on and see if they fit her well. But they were such a good price. They were like $5 off, which made them I think $19.99. So super cute gonna try those out then I saw these rugs they had several different rug options that I hadn't seen before and this one's kind of big I was thinking it might go in my kitchen over here like between the island and the stove so I'll try that out and see how it goes if it doesn't fit there I'm sure I'll find somewhere else that it will fit so that is all the non-food stuff let's go through this over here I got the cottage cheese cups and these will just be nice while we're on vacation so we don't get any extra dishes dirty. Excited about that. Any way that we can reduce dishes on our vacation is a win. I got mac and cheese. I am gonna be bringing my Instant Pot with me so it's really easy to make boxed mac and cheese in the Instant Pot so that'll be a quick dinner that the kids can probably make. Got a big thing of honey because we always need that. We haven't bought our favorite almond flour crackers in a while because they are expensive. <laughs> And um, I typically only buy them when they're on sale, but we're going to the beach house. So I got two boxes for the trip, two bags of plantain chips. Renee requested these for a special treat. We used to get these a lot and then I stopped when I started reducing that kind of thing in our diet. Um, but for the beach house, this will be a special treat. I picked up these yogurt cups, again, reducing dishes, buying little yogurt cups instead of big tubs. And this brand of yogurt is so good. The only thing I have to be careful about is the lemon curd yogurt has eggs in it. And um, cause lemon curd is made with eggs and my son is allergic to them. So I have to be very vigilant about that. Make sure he doesn't grab one of those. Then we got some more bacon crumbles cause we used up our bag recently. This is a treat for me and the kids like it too. And I think my husband likes them too, I'm not sure. But um, I don't get these very often because they are very expensive. But I thought just for a treat, uh, a low carb treat, we could have a few of these. I love the beef biltong. I've had this before and it's really, really good. And I was excited to see that they're carrying it at Costco for a pretty decent price. So I grabbed two bags of this. I was gonna try to get the the chomp sticks. Um, those are really good, but they didn't have them this time, or at least not that I could see. So um, this is what I decided to replace it with. We will definitely enjoy these. These are interesting. They taste a little bit like beef jerky, but they're softer, which is kind of nice. And then they also have vinegar in them. So they kind of have this tang to them that's really good. If you've never tried biltong, it's worth a try. Got a huge bag of dried mangoes. 
some frozen broccoli. The kids recently have decided that they love broccoli, so I'm gonna go with that. And I bought them some frozen broccoli. Another pack of the avocado oil spray because it's just so convenient. And then this stuff here is the canned food that I got for our pantry. Trying to get stuff that we actually like pretty well and that we'll actually eat, not just stock up on a bunch of stuff that's not really in our regular diet. Although that's kind of hard because we don't eat a lot of canned foods. But I wanted to make sure to get plenty of protein. So I got mostly meat and then a couple things of refried beans organic refried beans, organic tomato sauce. I grabbed a pack of sardines because if the apocalypse hits, I'll be eating sardines. I got two packs of the yellowfin tuna in olive oil, two packs of the um, canned chicken breast, and one thing of the pink salmon. And then moving over to the island here, let's see, we got two bunches of bananas, big box of kombucha, my husband loves this. I love it as well, but I don't drink it very often because it does have plenty of carbs in it. Um, I got one tub of cottage cheese that we'll probably eat before the beach house, and then we'll have the convenient cups while we're at the beach house. Big bag of organic barbecue potato chips. Another treat for the beach house that I try not to let the kids eat all the time. Then another convenience item is two packs of the fully cooked bacon. That'll just be easy while we're there. Won't have to make so many dirty dishes, can cook it in the microwave. These also will be very convenient for breakfast. I love these, these are so good. Everybody really loves these. And um, I'm gonna throw them in the freezer before we go. And so they'll be frozen, they'll kind of be like my ice packs in our cooler and stuff. And even though they're called Sugar House Maple, they really don't have a lot of carbs. It has, let's see, two, two carbs per three links. So each link has less than a carb. So it's not, even though it's called Sugar House Maple, it's not super sugary. So I am okay with that. I got two butters to splurge on. I hadn't seen this before. It looks like they're getting, uh, Costco's getting a Kerrygold knockoff. Uh, this one's from New Zealand. The Kerrygold is from Ireland. So uh, we'll have to do a taste test on that and see if this holds up to the Kerrygold quality. Renee requested seaweed chips. She loves to eat those seaweed snacks. They're delicious and we haven't been able to find them recently, at least not the places that we've been going. So I saw this and decided we would give it a try. I'll see if I can get her to taste some and give you guys a taste test on that. Got a big bucket of pickles. And then these look so yummy and I had never splurged on them before, but they're just individually wrapped like three little mozzarella balls in each pack. And they looked yummy and convenient. So I grabbed those for the beach trip. And I think that is it. <laughs> Are you okay down there, Poe? Are you okay? I know, you wanna eat all this food. I know you do. So this was my biggest Costco haul in a while. We spent a total of 521.04, which all in all, I think that's pretty good for stocking up the pantry with some good protein and then um, getting all the special treats for the beach house. I think we did all right. You couldn't wait to get home to play with the kitties, could you? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I think they missed you. Um, did you want to try one of these seaweed chips? Sure. Okay, here's what they look like. I think they're mostly like rice and seaweed. All right, grab one. I bet the kitties want to eat it. I like them. Wait, can I uh, take hey, a piece Hey, what are you trying to do? All right, so what does it taste like, baby? It tastes like, I don't, it doesn't taste like anything I've tasted. Does it's, it, is it similar to the seaweed snacks that you like so much? Does it um, taste similar to that or no? Kind of. When you want to uh, grab a, eat a spot with not as much rice, um, it tastes like that more. Yeah. Because the other one didn't, probably didn't have rice. I see. Yeah, it so. didn't. It didn't have rice. It was just seaweed and oil and spices. I think. So, what do you think? Do you like the seaweed snacks? Regular seaweed, seaweed snacks. Whoa. <laughs> better or are these new ch seaweed chips better? What do you um, think? If you had both of them in front of you, and I said, which one do you want to choose? Which one would you choose? 
Um, I would choose the seaweed uh, snacks, like the no, not the, the, the. You would choose the seaweed chips. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that's a win. How many thumbs up do you think you would give them? Um, ten. Ten thumbs up. So they're really good. Yeah. Yeah. Look at these crazy the, things. Look at these crazy doing? things. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're trying to learn their killer instincts. Oh, you think so? Like tigers? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so they can kill some mice. Yeah. I, think, I think they saw Freddy do it, and then they're like, I want to do that too. Let's Maybe. fight to train. <laughs> Maybe they're training. You want me? Training for battle against the mice. All the mice <laughs> on the farm. Thanks for going shopping with us today. I'm planning on doing at least a video, if not more, on prep for our vacation, food prep and all that stuff. And then of course I will bring you along on vacation for those of you that enjoy seeing my kids play in the sand. So stay tuned for all that and I hope you guys are all doing great and I will see you again in the next video.